In this video, we will quickly add some quiz questions to our lesson. as well as some final feedback. To save time, we'll do this using templates. To add our questions, we'll first need a new page. So I'll go to the last page of my lesson, and click New Page. Now I can go up to Template, and choose Apply Template. I'll choose the Questions category, and then choose Multiple Choice, and I'll apply that to the page. The question templates are wizard-based forms you can quickly customize to create fully functional quiz questions without any additional programming. Here I can change various settings, as well as entering my question text, the answer choices, and the feedback. So I'll paste in some text from the project files document, and paste in different answer choices, and the feedback. For the points, I only want one point if they get it correct, and zero points if they get it incorrect. Then I'll click OK. So here we can see the text was added to our page, as well as the answer choices, and the correct and incorrect feedback were added as well. The actions to power all of these were added into these extra canvases. If I need to see them, I can click on this button, but typically template actions are very complex, and I won't need to mess with them. If I want to edit the template, I can click on this button, or come up to the template, template wizard, and select the name. Either way, I'll get back to the template wizard. Let's add a second template. I'll come down here and choose New Page. And then at the top, I'll go back to Template, Apply Template. Again, I'll go to the Questions category, and choose Multiple Choice. And here I can bring in the text and the answer choices. And rather than using generic question level feedback, I can change my feedback to By Choice. This allows me to put individual feedback for each particular answer. So I'll copy and paste that in. In this case, 3 is a correct answer, so I'll specify that. And I also want to change the points, so that if they get it correct, they get 1 point, and if they choose either one of these, they'll get 0 points then I'll click OK. And those objects and actions were added to my page. Again, if I want to make edits to my template, I can go back to the template wizard, or I can make changes here on the authoring stage. Generally, if you add or delete objects that were made from the template, it's a good idea to do it through the template wizard. But simple things like text changes, or moving existing objects around, are fine to do here on the authoring stage. Now we want to see how we did with these questions. So we'll add one more page, and we'll make this our results page. So we'll apply a template, template, apply template. And this time we're going to choose the quizzing category. And I'll choose the linear quiz results and say apply to page. Here I can change the text for the past message. 
So I'll copy and paste that in. And here I can see the passing threshold, 75% seems good. And I will choose not to show the passing threshold. So we'll change this from true to false. Then click OK. I'm going to go ahead and update these page names. So I'll double click on the page name and call this one results. I'll call this one question one. and question two. Now we can preview from question one. So I'll select that and go up to my preview. I'll get the first one correct and I'll see my correct feedback. And I'll get this one incorrect and I'll get my specific incorrect feedback for that answer choice. And I see the failed message, as well as how many points I earned and the percentage. The text here is correct, but obviously I need some more room. So I'll close this and return to my results page. And then I'll select these objects and move them down. Now I'll return to question one and preview again. This time I'll get 100%, so we'll get this one correct. The second one correct. And I get 100%. And with that, we're done with this video. In the next video, we'll learn how to publish our lesson so that we can deliver it.